Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron, and on this channel, we talk about all things Ethereum. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things ETH. On this channel, we talk. Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron, and on this channel, we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, and price. And today, guys, um, I want to follow up on the previous video that I posted yesterday and talk about. I want to show you the process of wrapping um, your Ethereum in. A, uh, a Lido uh, state, uh, staked ETH contract and then bringing it in to, uh, to Ribbon Finance. So we're going to do this right now live and I'm hoping this works well for you guys and there's not a lot of wait time. I'm going to do it right now because the gas prices are actually pretty low. So Guai right now is at 24 if you are 28 um, at, uh, at, in terms of gas prices here and that's fairly low. I've, I've seen gas prices easily um, you know, upwards of 100, 200 uh, guai, which means uh, significant uh, um, transaction fees on Ethereum. So with that, guys, let's jump into this. Um, if you uh, like to track gas money, if you like to track our gas uh, fees on Ethereum, want to track the burn, these sorts of things, uh, ultrasound money is a fantastic place to look. Um, it gives you all the top burning uh, uh, protocols on the Ethereum network. Um, uh, these are based on whatever time period you p pick here. So I like to look at the all or the 30 day. The 30 day to me is the most relevant. And if you want to just see what's going on in Ethereum network and what's becoming popular, um, Strong Block is a big one that's come up. OpenSea obviously is st uh, still crushing it on a 30 day level. And uh, MetaMask uh, transactions, USD coin, Tether obviously huge, Uniswap. Um, is the biggest DeFi protocol on Ethereum. Um, all these things, Polygon is huge, uh, SushiSwap, obviously. Okay, so enough of that. Let's move on to uh, how do we get our Ethereum into a Lido contract, just to stake it. And you're going to make, um, currently, I believe it's 4.33% uh, on your Ethereum. In uh, Yeah, 4.3% is the Lido APR currently. So um, what I want to do here is is tr take some Ethereum I've got in my MetaMask. I'm going to put it into a uh, into a Lido contract and get uh, a Lido uh, staked ETH token as a liquidity token after the fact. If you stake ETH on Coinbase, you do not get a liquidity token to use elsewhere, guys, which is a huge disappointment and something that I'm uh, rather frustrated with because they did promise it when we put it in. Uh, the, their contract, they said by the end of uh, 2021 that they would have some sort of um, uh, liquidity token and that didn't happen. They also uh, mentioned that it would be likely that uh, the merge would happen in late 2021 last year. So I actually put in um, about, I don't know, three or four ETH into the Coinbase staking contract back in uh, March or April of last year hoping to see some massive gains, obviously not able to sell it when it hits um, its peak in, uh, in April. Um, uh, and then again, uh, Ethereum hits, hit another peak in uh, November and December, guys. And both times I was not able to do any sort of uh, um, arbitrage with my Ethereum because um, I didn't have a liquidity token from, those, that, from Coinbase protocol. So um, what I'm doing now is starting to get a little bit saved up so that I can put some in the Lido contract and then I'm going to take it from Lido and put it into Ribbon Finance and by the end of this year um, should have something in the neighborhood of 39% APR between the Lido AP, uh, APY and the, uh, the, the uh, staked ETH that I have in um, or sorry, the 32% the I get in Ribbon and 4.3% uh, I get in, in Lido. You're getting close to, um, you know, if everything goes well with the options contracts in Ribbon, you're going to end up with uh, between 35 and 39%. Now, this isn't financial advice, guys. This is my own research that I'm showing you how I'm doing it for, uh, for uh, entertainment and um, educational purposes only. So... I've got an, an ETH and then some in my MetaMask. I've got it connected here. I'm going to take out my treasure, which is going to be necessary for these contracts to go through because um, I do want to make sure that my Ethereum is uh, safe on my MetaMask wallet. I have a treasure. 
Um, link in the description to the Trezor. I've got an affiliate link there if you want to um, make sure that your ETH on MetaMask in particular and other wallets is safe, guys. So what I want to do here is put in one, um, one ETH. And so what I'm going to make sure that... So there's in, in Lido here. Let me, let me back up. In Lido, um, there's only one token that you can get out, but there's there's two or put in, but there's two liquidity tokens you can get out. So um, there's two different ways to do this. You can get Steth or Staked ETH, or you can go to the wrapper and put in Ethereum um, and get wrapped Staked ETH. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you get Staked ETH. So um, Wrap stake ETH can be used in other uh, DeFi protocols, um, and if you want to uh, watch a video about that, um, you can look at the previous video that I did about um, taking Rocket Pool, uh, R ETH, and uh, Steth or Wrap Steth from uh, Lido and uh, putting them into a liquidity pool and possibly getting upwards of 39% APR there. But I want to go through this um, this process with ribbon because I think it's more proven and I think it's going to be sustainable long term. So, um, with that, let's get into staking. Let's just do this live, guys. I'm going to put one ETH here and I'm going to submit this transaction. I'm going to have to, my MetaMask is going to open up. <clears throat> I'm going to look at the fees here. $10 gas fee is pretty amazing. I think that's the lowest I've ever paid. In fact, 860 would be even better. So let's go ahead and jump into this. It may uh, be tough to get that actual uh, transaction because I do have to type in my code here from my Trezor wallet and then confirm this. I'm going to open up my MetaMask here and see, yeah, we're going to have to do this again to confirm and see if it goes through. The one thing about adding a Trezor to your MetaMask is you do have to jump up through the hoops of, um, of pushing the buttons and, and entering your passcodes and these sorts of things. So what you want to do is, um, what, if I was smart, I would have set that up beforehand. I would have opened up my MetaMask. I would have um, unlocked it, put in my, my, uh, my codes and all that beforehand. Um, I have in the past done it where um, I've accidentally uh, lost my gas uh, fee because I didn't um, do the transaction um, or do all the uh, the unlocking of my MetaMask beforehand. But lately, it's, it hasn't been so bad because the the um, the gas prices are so much lower. It hasn't been as uh, as big of an issue, and because the network's not so tr uh, congested, I haven't had any dropped uh, transactions in that regard. So, let's see how this works. Um, it might take a second. It is pending right now. You're now staking one ETH awaiting uh, for the block. Your new balance is 0.999 STEF, which is great. It's That's the transaction fee that you pay. You pay essentially uh, 0 0.00001 Ethereum to get it, uh, it staked in there. So that's great. Now I should, in my MetaMask, have, uh, have one... Steph. So let's go in here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, and assets. And I do have one Steph in here, which is fantastic. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to load that in. Um, as you can see, I've got Omi in here, which is another uh, another RC20 or ERC20 token. And then I've got the remaining uh, gas. Um, Raining ETH to, to pay the gas of the next transaction that I'm going to be doing here shortly. So um, we've got that going in here, and then we're going to go over to, um, so we're going to take our staked ETH um, and then go into Ribbon Finance. And Ribbon Finance is, uh, let me give you a little information about this before I do the transaction. It has several products, and um, what it does is, uh, is a blockchain specific, Ethereum specific options contract. Um, every single week, it's uh, the, the, the contract that is built behind the scenes here on this application is an automated uh, option strategy. And what it does is it picks a, um, an option um, out in the, the week to come that's uh, likely to expire out of the money so that you uh, continue to gain um, essentially the, the fees that you would 
accrue as an options uh, seller. So what it's doing is it's, um, I believe it's selling uh, covered call options and um, as, as long as the, uh, the, um, the price of Ethereum doesn't exceed the, the covered call price, you keep the, uh, the, the fees that you pay to, uh, to buy that option. So um, as long as we don't see a mega run in Ethereum, we will get a, um, a percentage on our ETH back as a um, as a large pool of uh, liquidity so um, you can do this with just regular ETH you can put ETH in this contract here um, this is interesting this was a lot higher the other day um, this vault fluctuates uh, depending on how much value is locked in it the other day it was almost at 50k ETH and which 50k ETH is incredible so let's actually do that 50,000 times uh, the price of ETH right now, let me check, I think is around $2,600, 25, $2,588 right now, let's just say uh, $2,600. So uh, $130 million of uh, TVL in US dollars, right? So total value locked in this current contract is $130 million, and um, that is what is getting uh, um, used to uh to uh in the options contract so we're making essentially um here here's the here's the transaction for this week we're getting point point five two percent on the total um based on this week's options contract that expires tomorrow right and this is in uh, utc it's in uh i believe british um or european uh uh um, exchanges where you can do an options contract on Ethereum in particular. So that's what they use um, for the contract. And then um, the uh, looks like the selected strike price is at $3,100. And as long as the price of ETH at tomorrow morning isn't above $3,100, the uh, contract will make 0.52% back. And it's pretty safe right now, considering we've been uh, jumping uh, between uh, uh, $3,050 and uh, $2,400 in the last couple weeks. I do think that's a pretty safe bet, and uh, it will get a pretty decent return, and the overall return right now on, on Ethereum is pretty fantastic. From the beginning of this year, um, this contract has already made 8.24% and the projected yield for the year is 28.8%. And you can't beat that guys with, uh, with traditional finance. You just can't. So, um, what I'm going to do is make, um, 4.3% in Lido, which I just showed you. Um, I just put that in. I got my staked ETH. I'm going to make 4.3% on my, uh, staked ETH there. But then, uh, and that's locked up. That's locked up until the merge. I can't, undo this unless I, I transfer, I can go and take my staked ETH and, um, and uh, trade it on something like Uniswap for ETH back. So it is possible for me to get my staked ETH back, my, my Ethereum back from staked ETH if, if somebody wants to, um, you know, sell their Ethereum and buy uh, Steph in something like Uniswap or other liquidity pools, you know, Curve Finance gives you that option. But so I could get my Ethereum back out. Unlike right now with Coinbase, I have you know three or four Ethereum in Coinbase, and I have to wait until the merge to unstake that, or it actually just turns into uh, ETH 2.0 tokens, which are uh, staked or you know uh, uh, pegged to the Ethereum price right now. So, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to go to Ribbon Finance, and what I'm going to do here instead of putting Ethereum in, I'm actually going to go back to products, and I'm going to put my Steph in, so my staked ETH. Is going to be put into here and this is um, a little bit less TVL but um, if you look at these guys if the overall TVL is pretty massive here so um, this fluctuates uh, and I'm surprised it's actually as low as it was last week um, staked ETH was in the 48k range 49k as far as ETH staked in that and that would double this uh, TVL here that we talked about 130 million last week alone there's 260 million and so um, this will fluctuate on occasion and all these other vaults will fluctuate as well. But total value locked, we're talking, you know, 
upwards of um, you know 200 300 400 million just depending I don't I don't want to do all the calculations here but we have quite a bit of staked uh, um, coins in, in this in this vault in these vaults here so um, let me go into uh, staked staked ETH from Lido and then I'm going to put my staked ETH in this contract so I want to choose uh, Steph here before you deposit the vault, I have to approve Steph. I'm approving it um, via MetaMask. This shouldn't cost me any uh, gas to do, guys. Actually, it is going to cost me a little gas. That's interesting. But as thankfully, gas prices are super low right now, so I'm going to confirm that. Six ninety four just to approve <laughs> this website to see to see my staked ETH, which is fine. Let's go again through the rigmarole of opening this up and getting the confirmation signed here but that should go fairly quickly you can watch it in my MetaMask here <clears throat> we'll let that go thankfully I've got another uh, 0 0.2, 0.02 ETH here just to cover the fees while I'm waiting let me let me calculate this so let's just round up to ten dollars per transaction here and since I've got one ethereum um, let's say uh, and then I'm going to be losing ten you know three thirty dollars really because I've got three transactions total here so that'll be down to uh, 2570 I mean that's not a huge amount um, I don't want to do the transaction here, so um, there we go, because that's that's going to happen. So I'm going to put my max staked ETH in here, and then I'm going to preview deposit, <clears throat> and then I'm going to deposit now as with approximate uh, total of 34% APY on the year, plus what I'm getting in Lido, um, the 3.4 uh, or 4.3 percent. Let's just quickly do the numbers on that 34. 0.1 plus 4.33 gives me a total of 38.44 percent, which is bloody fantastic. If you if you don't mind my language there, um, and that's if I continue to just hold on to it. <clears throat> Honestly, guys, I wish I was doing this with more. I wish I was taking my uh, my staked ETH that I had previously and um, from Coinbase and being able to do this and maybe in the in the near future we'll get a liquidity token from Coinbase that will give us um, the ability to uh, to to do this transaction with our uh, Coinbase staked ETH but right now it's not possible it looks like this transaction is actually going to cost a little bit more than the previous two um, but even for twenty dollars, this is a super low transaction fee compared to what I was paying, uh, moving money into Axie Infinity on the bridge to the Ronin chain not too long ago. So we're just going to prove this for the sake of time. <clears throat> so we'll have a total of just under uh, forty dollars uh, in fees on uh, on the Ethereum network between all these transactions here. But that is less than I was paying for a single transaction moving my ETH into the, uh, the um, Ronin chain through the Axie Infinity Bridge or Ronin Bridge that I was using uh, not too long ago. In fact, I, uh, on, I moved the, the, this one Ethereum that I have in my MetaMask wallet right now, I moved it off of the chain recently um, because I was done... Um, using it as an investment in Axie Infinity. I have plenty of, of money over there still, um, still making money. Uh, just wanted to take some of my gains and some of the uh, liquidity ETH really that I was using to, uh, to, to make transactions, uh, some arbitrage within the Rona network there, um, uh, just v available to me now uh, for doing other DeFi projects. So um, wanted to show you this today. Um, want to make sure this transaction goes through so that I can show the entire process before signing off um, and I may just uh, wait a second to watch this. Now the risk level here guys um, is not terribly high in my opinion. Um, 
uh, Ribbon Finance has been, um, their contracts have been audited by uh, multiple auditors. Um, I'm not super concerned about uh, loss of ETH in this regard. Um, again, uh, one of the things I like to say, and a lot of pe people in this space say, if you're not willing to, to lose it, you shouldn't uh, put it in these contracts. You shouldn't be investing it in Ethereum in particular um, because it is an asset that is brand new in, in, rel in relative terms to, uh, to um, you know, other financial vehicles and um, not financial advice guys, but I do think this is pretty stable in, in relation to other DeFi projects out there. Your, uh, Ribbon Finance has been around for a couple of years now. Um, they're now in version two of all their vaults. They've done a lot of, of TVL and if, if I didn't see um, hundreds of million dollars in TVL guys, I wouldn't be as interested as I am. And, uh, and the, the risk to reward here guys, I've, a very low risk in my opinion, and to make upwards of 30% on your Ethereum in a year's time is unheard of in any other, um, in any other way to make uh, Ethereum gains on the Ethereum network. So I'm, I am hoping that when I want to take it out uh, eventually that I'll find a time where the gas fees are lower and with, uh, with Ethereum too, who knows what could, um, what could happen there. And uh, I do, in, um, I am interested to find out how this is all going to get unstaked when, uh, when Ethereum 2 comes out, but I assume we're just going to, uh, to transact um, Lido Steth for, um, for ETH 2.0 tokens when um, the merge happens. So um, waiting for this transaction to go through, I'm assuming it's going to, and maybe I just will fast forward this video, but I will keep recording guys as um, I watch this go and then I will sign out after it's done. So I'm just going to wait here while this goes through. If you are in the continental United States, if, you, and if you'd like to support this channel, guys, go over to freejixcoffee.com and buy yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order uh, specialty coffee. Um, and this channel does make a, a cut of an, anything you purchase through the website. And if you'd like to get uh, uh, free shipping on anywhere in the continental United States, use code FREESHIPUSA at checkout and you will get free shipping. That saves you $5 on your order. Um, if you are a wholesaler or want to get wholesale quantities, you can use that same $5 um, uh, receipt, but it does cost $15 to, uh, to send a five pound bag anywhere in the United States. So you save a little bit on shipping, but your overall cost of cost per pound is, is a, lot, uh, a lot less discounted because of the five pound bag versus the 12 ounce bag that you would be purchasing. So um, not to kill time, I, I, I don't often shill this, but um, I know a lot of my the people watching this video in particular are going to be in the United States as uh, investors rather than my typical audience that is around the world talking about Axie Infinity. So thought I'd mention that today. But uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more content just like this. I do intend to get back into more Ethereum blockchain specific content. I've been spending a lot of time in Axie Infinity and, and do uh, click on my, uh, my uh, different, um, uh, what do they call them in YouTube? There's different, um, different uh, content channels right within a certain channel. So I do tend to, uh, to um, uh, separate these as DeFi videos versus my Axie Infinity content. So you can go into my channel and check out my DeFi content versus Axie Infinity if that's what you're interested into or interested in. Now I do a lot of DeFi inside of Axie Infinity too, so you might want to check that out as well. But I think I've, um, I've noted the DeFi specific Axie Infinity videos in my uh, DeFi channel. So hoping this through goes through guys. Uh, don't really want to lose my gas fee on this, but I'm going to wait until this is done. All right, guys, my uh, transaction has gone through officially on MetaMask here. I am waiting to see it uh, finish. There it is on Ribbon. I'm so happy to say that I do have a position here of, uh, of one position of, of, of staked ETH inside of the, um, the Ribbon Finance um, Steph Vault, guys, and I'm so stoked to watch this gain some rewards. Um, hopefully this week we'll see uh, upwards of 0.5% this week and it'll just continue to compound 
And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and, uh, and make sure to hit the notification bell to see more content just like this in uh, concurrent videos, guys. Love you and God bless.